And I'm Avery. And, and this, this is, is the Craftastic Songs with Avery and Brooke. And today we'll be doing a decorative candle activity. Yes, the materials you will need are a candle, a little tiny candle, a candle holder or a mason jar or something. It can be square, circle, but if it's a tinier jar, you would most likely want a square. Mm. You will also need some either stencils that you can put on your mason jar or something. That's when you would want a square. And then you can either use ribbon, that's what we have closest to yarn, or you can do these little things out that are like yarn, except they have little designs, which are a lot prettier. Mm. We will be using a paintbrush. Any type of paintbrush, really. Paints, because if you need a paintbrush, you're probably gonna need paints. <laughs> and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. So, first, number one, we're gonna move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, first off, you're going to be starting with your jar. Um, first, what you wanna do is you wanna clean your jar. I've already sanitized it, I've washed them out. They are, so they should be pretty clean. Mm -hmm. And they should be flammable. A mess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, first off, I am thinking about doing a stencil on this side and then like the yarn and stuff on the rest because I think that would look pretty cool. So what would, are you gonna do, Brooke? I think I'm going to do one of the bigger uh, fabrics going across the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have, I may have a stencil, I'm not for sure. So first what you'll do is you'll obviously pick your stencils. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I got these stencils at. Um, so yeah, I may not be using them because it looks like none of these would look good on it. So yeah, so first what you'll do is you'll take it. You want to try to measure it too. Yeah, you want to measure it before you tape it. So like... And make sure... You'd rather have it too big than too little. So maybe cut it a little bigger than you would need it. And it's a little hard. Now, if you're using a jar like how I am, you should um, have like something maybe like a little bit larger than a foot. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're gonna be using a very smaller jar like how this one is, you may be wanting to use half of that. Yeah, maybe have a foot a little bigger than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next what you'll do is after you've measured it, they're both about a foot long maybe, you'll wrap it around your jar. Oh, and we forgot to mention in the beginning, you may need a tiny bit of tape, even though this one's gone. little bit of tape you, you will not want to use a lot because that could mess up the stencil mm -hmm. so whatever side you have the tape on I would recommend that being the back yeah so here's your tape thank you you're welcome and if you are going to use some sort of stencil or something um try using it on a more solid Shape. Uh, yes, so it wouldn't affect your painting. Like, the back, as you can see, the one that overlaps will probably be the back because you would not want that to overlap on the front because that just look odd. So we're wrapping them right now as we speak. We just, we're just the people that like to talk. So, once you get that, and overlap it, all you'll do is you'll just, you wanna make sure it's really tight. Can I see some tape? I'll touch that. Sorry. Oh. No, that's clear. Here. Here's the tape. Oh, thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And if you don't have any stencils. That is completely fine. Right? Yes. You just need, the least you need is some sort of 
like little thing that you can wrap around or something. Just something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna trim mine a little bit because it's a little too big and it won't totally fit on there. Oh, got to get that off. And you don't wanna make it like too big. Um, because then it could just end up being humongous to where there's like two sides that are doubled and then you wouldn't know which one should be the back. Yes. <laughs> so like if you're gonna put this against a wall, mm -hmm. like that back side could be against the wall. Mm -hmm. So the there is ours. Oh, give it twist. Okay. Okay, so I am done with mine. This is what mine looks like. Just a tip, you do not want to, if it's a little loose, either make it tighter or don't do anything because if you put tape on here, the paint will not go through onto the jar. So, yeah. And we're, I'm just going to be putting this on these to paint on. Oh no, my tape's like gone, like it has one strip left. Aww. We'll get some more when we go shopping. Yeah. Oh yeah, and um, we are going to do one upcoming video, um, and that is going to be like some of the activities, like it's like a little sneak peek of what we're probably going to be doing, and we're going to show you our items, and like what we're going to do. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, each month we will, the last week of that month, we will be singing a song. So like, if there's like five weeks in that month, we'll be do craft, 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 then a song. So, or one month it may be the other way around. We would do song, 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 craft. Can I see one more strip of tape? Yes, you may. What color will you be using? Will you be using orange, yellow, or pink? Um, I think orange would look good in your room. Yeah. I would use the pink, but it's almost gone, so. Yeah. So, we're but getting some paint. Do orange. You can put it on here, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna do orange? Mm -hmm. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, we had, we had really bad colds, and we're. We're still getting over them. Yeah. Because we're, like, not allergic to it to where we're, like, burst up in hives, but we're, like, those people that sneeze and. Have bad eyes in the spring. Oh my gosh, this leaked everywhere. Oh. I'm bleeding, guys. I'm not actually. Don't think I'm bleeding, guys. I'll be right back. So yeah, about our upcoming video, um, we, me and Avery are gonna be shopping. And once we get home from shopping, we are gonna be showing you all the crafts and some of our upcoming videos, like a little sneak peek mm -hmm. of what we're doing. And that may, uh, like, that'll probably be like the beginning of next week's video. So then what you'll do is after you have it on there, you're just gonna take your paintbrush and lightly dab it over. And you wanna make sure if you have something like ours, you wanna make sure you get into each one of the crevices. Oh, and, um paint that we choose oh, the paint that i chose or that we chose is the crayola like and they're 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 like in little jugs mm -hmm. i wouldn't prefer watercolor paint because those seem to be more pastel and they wipe off very easily yes and especially on glass which what you should be yeah. using instead of a plastic <laughs> cup <laughs> yeah because those would not work well yeah Now, it may not be, Crayola is not the best paint, but it's one of the better paints, and it's, you don't want to use, like, one of those, like Brooke said, you don't want to use one of those washful cobblers, because, like, if you put your nail on it, you may rip it then, like, cut it, some of it off, so you never want to do that, you always, it, the least you want to do is probably Crayola. And you want to try to, like, kind of use a lot. Yeah. Okay. And since we have squares, I am going to maybe paint this rim right here. Right here. Um, I'm going to try to maybe color that a different color after this dries. Now, this may take up to an hour to dry, but you want to make sure it's completely dry. Oh, 
Okay, so guys, we're having a little bit of trouble here. It's not quite staying on the glass. Like, we're having to use, like, chunks of it. How much was this, actually? What? The, um, paint. Um, for about a jug, I think it was, like, a dollar. Okay, good, because we may be using a whole jug on this. Yeah. Because look at that. I have to use all that just yeah. for one side. So, that is one side complete. Almost complete. I just got to get these edges. And you can always, like, try to see how it looks. From the inside. Yeah. And from right here, it looks pretty cool. Oh, the color will come off. Oh, gosh. No, don't get on the rim. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing... I don't really know what color. But you have to use a lot on this. Yeah. So, I am done with that side. And now we're going to have to start, like, tilting it. Because... I've already done a side, so like this. And as you can see on here, there is no holes at all. So, so you don't waste your time, we are just going to stop right here and we'll show you our dried, our, our dried look. Well, we may show you after we're done painting it, just to show you all the holes and stuff, and then we'll, be sh we'll show you when we're done. See you then, bye. Okay, so these are our completed painted jars. Sorry, that's the back. We ran out of paint. But you want to make sure there are no holes. So we are going to go let these outside and dry, and we'll see you then. Bye. So, guys, we're back. And um, so we took off our little stencil thing because you want to take it off before it dries or it could dry on there and peel all of your paint off. So they're not completely dry yet, but we put the candles in them and we think they look pretty awesome. Here's Brooks. Hers is pretty awesome, pretty nice, pretty nice. We got, we both have some clumps in ours, but we're gonna let them dry overnight. Like obviously we're gonna blow out the candle and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go back inside and we'll see you guys then. See ya. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe to this video. And leave a comment if you have any questions or a new craft idea or a song we should think. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. See ya.